Hello everyone. <clears throat> Can you hear me guys? Good afternoon, good evening everyone. Can you hear me? All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, just one more minute. Chalo. So in today's class, we will be talking about measles. Like I have shared a roster on my telegram group as well, okay, where I've told you about all the diseases that we will be discussing in our upcoming sessions as well. So today is the first disease discussion, which is measles. You can follow my telegram group, PSM with Dr. Neha, where I'm going to put out all the links for the classes that will happen, okay? Like tomorrow, there is going to be one class on rubella, guys, okay? Tomorrow, there is going to be one class on rubella, okay? Which you can attend in tomorrow's class. I will be pretty soon sharing with you the time. So basically, you all must have seen the disease roster. The disease roster is available on this telegram group. We are going to cover some 20 diseases including TB, malaria and a lot of other important ones with high yielding points as well as some MCQs. Okay. So let us all start with measles for the day to day. Okay. This is and everybody can watch this, attend this FMG, NEET, PG. NICT aspirants, any medical student, anyone for everyone, this is equally important. Okay. Charo. So let us start with the first disease of the day. Thank you so much, Brata. Uh, All right, everyone. Just just look out for the links which will come up on this telegram channel, PSM with Dr. Neha. Okay. So the first disease for the day is measles. So now can you all look at this chart? We'll be doing MCQs in between as well as we will be talking the MCQs towards the end. Okay. So the first chart, I'm going to ask you certain questions over here. Can you fill in the blanks for me, please? Life uh, measles. Causative agent kya hai? First we'll be discussing all the theory part of it and then we'll be talking about this thing here. Can you hear me now, everybody? Can you hear me? Is the voice now okay? Are the same clear? Can you see this? Chale, are you ready? Okay. So, what does the causative agent for uh, measles? Very good. The causative agent is it the RNA virus or the DNA virus? First of all, it is an RNA virus. Okay, RNA paramyxovirus. Okay, RNA para Mixovirus. Now, how many variants do we have? Do we have one serotype or do we have many serotypes? So, please remember only one serotype is available. Okay. Only one serotype is available. Very good. Only one serotype is available. So, that's the first point that you have the causative agent as an RNA virus. Okay, yes, I'll be posting the PDF, all right. There's an RNA paramyxovirus and only one serotype is available. Now, there is one property uh, which measles follows because of this one serotype. We'll be discussing that also. What about the incubation period? 10 to 14 days. Yes, only of you guys, 10 to 14 days. Very good. Now, incubation period, when we finish with all the diseases, I'll be providing you compiled list of incubation periods of, you know, period of communicability. Abhi mere saath sirf padhte chale jau, okay? What about the source of infections? We all know that the source of infection for measles is only cases. Do subclinical infections or carriers occur? No. Subclinical infection and carriers are not known to occur, okay? Are not seen. All right, remember this very, very important point, okay? Source of infection is only an 
case of measles and there is no subclinical infection or carriers. What about mode of infection, mode of transmission? Whenever you write your answers also, if you have any third year MBBS student here, this is how you will present your answers as well, okay? So, mode of transmission kya hai measles ka? What is the mode of transmission? Is it airborne? Of course, it is airborne. I'll tell you the difference between droplet and droplet nuclei, which also comes in your exams. Okay? So, basically, measles is a respiratory infection. Okay, very good. All of you are writing Everyone, okay, I can see what you are writing. Very good, guys. Yes, we'll be discussing about iceberg. A second, mate. Okay. Now, period of communicability. Kya hai measles virus ka? Period of communicability. PYQ. It is four days before. Okay, four days before and five days after appearance of rash. Okay, four days before and five days after appearance of rash. That is the period of communicability. This is equally important, guys. Okay, four days before and five days after because when we do chicken pox, it's going to change. So, we have to remember certain points. What about characteristic feature of the rash? You'll be looking at an image for it. This is retro auricular in origin. Okay, the rash is retro auricular in origin. And what type of rash it is? We'll be discussing that it's a maculopapular rash. Macular papular rash. So, these are some of the points that you must remember. Isme, this is a PYQ. Incubation period is a PYQ. Source of infection is a PYQ. Period of communicability, of course, is a PYQ. Okay? Period of isolation, I have written down one additional point for you. That period of isolation is 7 days after appearance of rash. Once the rash comes, you should isolate the person for at least 7 days after. Okay. This was once asked in an AIMS paper. Everybody thumbs up so far. Did you understand? Go to Deepa. Welcome. Okay. Did you see me so forward, guys? Okay. Next. Very important. Secondary attack rate of measles. Kya hai secondary attack rate of measles, guys? So, secondary attack rate of measles is 80%. Please remember this. Secondary attack rate reflects the, secondary attack rate reflects basically the period of communicability, right? Or it is also <clears throat> talking about transmissibility. Not 90%, okay? Measles is 80%. Chicken pox, everybody is 90%, okay? What about pathognomic clinical features? Something which is very, very important. A lot of question comes from it. Poplic spots. So, I'll be showing you the image and I'll also be telling you where it appears. It appears in the buccal mucosa, everyone, opposite the lower second molar, okay? Opposite the lower second molar, guys. Okay, very good. So, complex spot is the pathognomic clinical feature. We'll be looking at the image of the rash as well as complex spot, but it's opposite the lower second molar. Please don't write um, upper second molar. Okay, I'm reading your messages, you know, when I have to look left <laughs> because my phone is not working. Okay, I'll laptop my phone i don't know why it has stopped working okay anyways what is most common complication okay okay so i won't look at i won't read your messages then okay i, I can't see your messages on my phone that's the issue Chalo, let's continue. Okay, most common complication of measles in young children, everybody good. Otitis media. Okay, most common complication is otitis media. And what is a rare complication of measles? What is a rare complication? Rare complication measles ka kya hai guys? What is rare complications? Can anyone tell me what is the rare complications of measles? So, rare complication is... Okay, now just a second. Now I'll be able to see your messages. Yeah, now I got it. Okay. All right. So what is a rare complication of measles, guys? Very good, Adiba. Very good, Doolittle. Everyone, 
so it is sspe sspe okay subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis okay subacute not special subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis okay that is a rare complication of measles okay so once this was like the epidemiology of the measles ek baar fir se dekh lete hain Number one, causative agent, it's a RNA virus. Don't say DNA virus, it's a RNA virus. And only one serotype is available, okay? Number two, incubation period, 10 to 14 days. Source of infection, cases. There are no subclinical infection and carriers. Mode of transmission can also be airborne droplet nuclei, okay? Period of communicability, four days before and five days after appearance of rash. What about the rash? It is retroauricular in origin. Okay? Secondary attack rate of measles, 80%. Pathognomic classical feature, complex spot, buccal mucosa opposite the lower second molar. Most common complication of measles in young children, otitis media and rare complication, SSP. Other than this, we will be looking at image of rash, complex spot, discussing MCQs and doing vaccination part also. Okay? One important point, okay, this is a golden point, guys, or a high or yield point that subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis occurs. If there is one million case, then seven would go on to develop this rare form of encephalitis, seven to ten years after initial infection. So, this could also come as an MCQ. This is a rare complication of measles, okay, this is a rare complication. Chal. Let us proceed now. Can you tell me the answer to this? This is another present. Oh, measles follows periodic trend, cyclical trend, secular trend, or all of the above. What is your answer to this case? A, B, C, D. Another topic that we are going to see, but we are going to see with examples. Periodic trend, cyclical, secular, all of the above. Okay, so I have answer from Abhirami. Dhaka. Suresh, Addison, okay. So, some of you are saying A, some of you are saying B as well, okay. Now, I want to tell you something. There is what is known as periodic fluctuation, okay. So, when you talk about periodic fluctuation of a disease, like here we are talking about measles, okay. This follows two things, okay. This follows a cyclical cyclical distribution all right it follows a cyclical distribution and it also follows a seasonal distribution okay cyclical means the epidemics are repeated every two to three years okay cyclical two to three years and seasonal distribution measles is seen during periods of winter and early spring okay winter and early spring so, measles follows, what is your answer? Periodic trend because periodic includes cyclical also as well as seasonal. Which disease follows see secular trend guys? Can you name a disease which follows secular distribution? Anybody? Secular kya hota hai? Secular hota hai progressive change. Okay, progressive change in the occurrence of a disease. All right progressive change in the occurrence of a disease at least over a decade okay progressive change in the occurrence of a disease over a decade like over a period of 10 years what do we see ncds are rising so which diseases follow a secular trend non-communicable diseases okay all right did you understand periodic fluctuations okay one more question does measles follow iceberg phenomenon anybody does measles follow iceberg phenomenon of disease iceberg phenomenon does measles follow iceberg phenomenon of diseases anyone iceberg phenomenon of disease no why because there is no hidden portion the source of infection is only a case of measles okay the source of infection is only a case of measles so measles does not follow iceberg phenomenon okay so measles does not follow iceberg phenomenon the source of infection is only a case of measles okay so measles follow periodic fluctuations epidemics are common during winter and early spring 
incidence is in both sexes highly infectious in prodromal phase and during eruption phase infectivity decreases after appearance of rash so this is one of the important mcqs that once the rash appears what happens to the infection okay now can you tell me the answer to this everybody can you tell me the answer to this true statement regarding measles are all except common in summer incubation period is 10 to 14 days infectivity decreases after appearance of rash measles vaccine although we have not spoken much about vaccine we will be talking please remember measles is a respiratory infection which is common in winter and early spring right winter and early spring rest all are same incubation period is 10 to 14 days infectivity decreases after appearance of rash and of course measles vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine okay we'll be talking about vaccination now a simple general knowledge question can measles and chickenpox occur together how many of you can tell me this just asking you out of the books can measles and chickenpox occur together guys kya measles and chickenpox ek sath ho sakte hain can they occur together measles and chickenpox yes or no just tell me a yes or a no maybe this can be present as one of the options can they occur together none of you have answered come on yes or no bolo okay abhirami says no anybody else addison says no no guys the thing is they can occur together okay they can also occur together but whichever disease has occurred first it will show its presentation okay they can occur together but whichever disease happens first it will show its presentation this was just a point you know just to test the knowledge okay all right no problem what is this image can you tell me what is this image what am i trying to show you in this image or if it is it comes identify so what is this image is mam log kya dekh rahe hain very good shoket here we can see these things okay they are what they are coplex spot okay all right now i'll show you one more image okay this is coplex spot and what will you say this what will you say for this image what will you say for this image ye kya hai of course this is what we'll be discussing now two very important images this is rash of measles okay एक तुमने देगा कॉम्प्लेक्स स्पॉट एंड रैश ऑफ मीजल्स वील डिस्कस बोथ कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट अपीयर्स फर्स्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स स्पॉट अपीयर्स बिफोर रैश और रैश अपीयर्स फर्स्ट एनीबॉडी सबसे पहले क्या आता है कॉम्प्लेक्स स्पॉट आता है या रैश आता है बिफोर आई टीच यू बताओ पहले कॉम्प्लेक्स स्पॉट आता है या पहले रैश आता है कम ऑन ओके अबेरामी सेल स्पॉट एनीबॉडी एल्स वुड वांट टू टेल मी ओके शॉकेट सेल Coplic, sparrow says jack sparrow. We have a jack sparrow. Uh, what can I rash? Okay, agiba coplic spot. Okay, now I will tell you what appears, but just remember how you can remember. देखो, always this is known as a spot. पहले there is a spot which then spreads. Okay, you can remember it this way. That a spot will come first and then it is going to spread like a rash. Okay, just to remember. okay i'm not saying that coplic spot is becoming the rash no just to remember coplic spots okay it's a spot so pehle ek spot aata hai fir kuch spread karega so coplic spot remember appears okay 24 to 48 hours before rash remember this this is present as an option in the mcqs okay coplic spot appears 24 to 48 hours before rash okay and coplic spot is found in the buccal mucosa okay it is found in the buccal mucosa opposite the lower second molar opposite the lower second molar remember this okay these are two important points for coplic spot coplic spot is seen in which stage in prodromal stage not in the eruptive stage kab dikhta hai coplic spot prodromal stage 
age group in which measles occurs okay so measles and most commonly in india is seen from 9 months onwards it can happen any time okay 1 to 3 years it's very common after 5 years it's not that common in developing countries but in developed countries it can even happen during adulthood okay so complex spot ke points you must remember opposite lower second molar appears 24 to 48 hours before rash that is it is seen in the prodromal stage now what about rash so rash comes in the eruptive phase okay or rash kaisa hota hai what sort of rash is it it is a confluent can you see this this is a confluent macula papular rash it's not discrete they are very close together okay and it is what in origin retro auricular in origin okay what is it retro auricular in origin some of the important points okay rash appears after complex spot are you with me rash appears after complex spot and in fact decreases okay the infectivity of measles decreases after rash appears ye sara points rash ka hai infectivity decreases when infectivity decreases after rash appears theek hai rash aane ke baad infectivity decrease kar jata hai is it clear so this is rash of measles macula papular in origin confluent retro auricular and infectivity decreases after rash appears theek hai so i have summed up for you the first phase is this is the clinical features remember there is a prodromal phase which is characterized by fever coryza nasal discharge cough redness of eye lacrimation photophobia and complex spots okay complex spots appear during the prodromal stage okay there is a stage before the rash pathognomonic feature is complex spot we have already discussed this uh, prodromal stage after this these are the complex spot 1 mm grayish white dot with slight reddish areola okay so prodromal is again a prodromal feature okay cough coryza that is what it's hinting towards a cough only okay second phase is eruptive phase so let's just read some golden points about the rash okay so you will see dusky rash red macula papular rash retro auricular origin spreads rapidly rash fades in the order of appearance a brown discoloration may persist for two months or more the severity of the disease is directly related to the extent and confluence of the rash more confluent more severe the disease okay in mild measles measles rash tends not to be confluent and in very mild cases there are few if any lesions on the leg okay remember this this is important so macula papular dust retro auricular origin confluent rashes dekho kisne close hai you can confuse this with rubella rash i'll be showing you the image of rubella and we'll be discussing rubella maybe tomorrow theek hai so macula papular confluent rash okay retro auricular in origin all right so can you answer this okay ashwarya can you answer this complex spot are seen and kya hai iska answer i told you prodromal stage let's see incubation period eruptive stage convalescence stage so remember where these are all pyqs okay complex spot are seen in very good very good guys prodromal stage remember one thing it is before rash okay before rash appears you will see prodromal stage may complex spot okay which of the following is reservoir for measles again an important pyq batao which of the following is reservoir for measles man soil homites monkey very good very good we all know source of infection for measles is only source of infection for measles theek hai source of infections for measles kya hai it is only man okay source of infections for measles is only man all right next true about measles rash appearance can you tell me 
two about measles rash appearance along with coplic spot one to two days before coplic spot one to two days after coplic spot post measles stage so i have just told you this is also a pyq measles rash appears one to two days after coplic spot okay all right next complications of measles so very important most common complication among young children guys most common complication among children what is the answer most common complication among young children kya is the answer most common complication we all know it is otitis media okay next rare complication of measles what is the rare complication of measles what is the answer to this rare complication of measles everybody so rare complication is ssp okay most common cause of mortality most common cause of mortality in measles most common cause of mortality in measles what is the most common cause of mortality in measles guys no not ssp not ssp no not ssp what is it it is secondary bacterial infection okay secondary bacterial infection and if that is not there then it is pneumonia all right secondary bacterial infection otherwise it is pneumonia overall what is the most common complication of measles overall the most common complication of measles overall the most common complication of measles what is it overall not in young children i am not saying overall it is diarrhea okay young children it is otitis media but overall the most common complication of measles guys is diarrhea okay so first golden point most common complication among young children otitis media rare complication of measles ssp most common cause of mortality in measles is secondary bacterial infection pneumonia and overall the most common complication of measles is diarrhea okay because like i said in other countries it can appear even after 5 years okay all right so most serious complication of measles can you answer this pyq okay i i'll fix it from tomorrow i don't know why it's happening ashwarya uh okay i'll fix it in the next class i'm so sorry can you please manage today okay i'm i'll speak a little loudly all right most serious complication of measles is meningo encephalitis very good chalo next which of the following is the least common complication of measles again a pyq least common complication kya hai diarrhea pneumonia otitis media ssp least common complication guys least common very good it is ssp so read the question very carefully does it say most common complication among young children okay does it say most common cause of mortality does it say rare complications accordingly you will be answering theek okay? hai okay let's go ahead last topic where we'll be talking about prevention of measles okay so prevention of measles may you have active immunization as well as passive immunization active immunization may you have live attenuated measles vaccine right live attenuated measles vaccine we'll be talking about the vaccine and passive immunization is immunoglobulin theek hai 0.25 ml per kg body weight but the important thing is what are the points you must know about the vaccines theek okay? hai so let us talk about vaccination of measles so number 1 whenever we talk about any vaccine first type so measles vaccine is a live vaccine what about the strain guys strain strain kaun sa hai iska strain what about it anybody what is the name we have learned it in the chapter of measles edmonston zagreb m okay edmonston zagreb very good then what is the schedule when is measles vaccine given everybody so it is given at first dose 
nine completed months okay we give the first dose in the form of measles rubella 1 and 16 to 24 months hum log kya dete hain measles rubella 2 okay mr2 in case of delayed vaccination or in case of delayed immunization measles vaccine can be given up to how many years measles vaccine can be given up to five years okay then what is the root i hope you remember from the chapter of vaccines that at nine completed months we give two vaccines measles and also we are giving j and both are giving by which root subcutaneous okay and what is the dose 0.5 ml okay 0.5 ml subcutaneous very very important all right so root ho gaya, dose ho gaya. subcutaneous means you are giving at an angle of 45 degree and which what is the site what is the site measles rubella from the word r it is right arm okay very very important is measles vaccine one of the vaccines which can come in your exams okay live vaccine at monston zagreb nine completed months the first dose measles rubella 16 to 24 months second dose in case of delayed immunization it is given up to five years subcutaneous is the root from measles rubella r becomes right arm Okay, and what is the dose of measles, everybody? 0.5 ml. Will you remember this? Very important. Next question. Does measles vaccine follow open vial policy? Anybody? Kya measles vaccine open vial policy follow karta hai? Ha ya na? Kya answer? Good. So, does measles vaccine follow open vial policy? The answer is absolutely no. No, no. What is open vial policy? Open vial policy hota hai. Vaccine vials. Okay. Once opened. If maintained. In. Proper. Cold chain condition can be used up to 28 days, right? Which vaccines follow open vial policy? This is open vial policy which is followed by the liquid vaccines, okay? Liquid vaccines. All right, which are the T-series vaccine? What are the T-series vaccine which have the letter T in it? Like, tumara T-series vaccine kya ho jata hai which have the letter T in it? No, no, I'm asking which follow open vial policy. Very good. Pentavalent, it has the letter T in it. DPT, hepatitis B, okay? Hepatitis B. Or without deep, uh, TD, very good. Other than this, OPV, IPV, all of these follow TCV, pneumococcal vaccine, open vial policy. So, which vaccines do not follow open vial policy, guys? Open vial policy is the vials once opened if maintained in proper cold chain condition can be used up to 28 days. All the liquid vials follow open vial policy like T-series vaccine. Okay. OPV se pehle TD. It's TD. I'll write it again. This is TD. All those vaccines which have letter T. Okay. So, which vaccines do not follow? Which vaccines? This is very important MCQ. Do not follow open while policy. Once if vaccines nahi follow karte, they are known as reconstituted vaccines okay you can say them reconstituted vaccines or you can call them freeze dried vaccines or you can call them lyophilized vaccines okay they do not follow open file policy 
like can you name a few very good bcg measles measles rubella very good japanese encephalitis theek hai all these yellow fever they do not follow open vial policy okay bcg and measles they have to be used up to 4 hours japanese encephalitis up to 2 hours theek hai and of course yellow fever vaccine up to half an hour all right so these are the vaccines which do not follow guys open vial policy remember this very very important reconstituted vaccines the free stride vaccines or lyophilized vaccines thank you tavish okay now one more question reconstituted mein diluent batao let's revise they are reconstituted they are all powdered they are all powdered vaccines so you need to add a diluent covid vaccines also don't follow okay they have to be used up to 6 hours max theek hai lalit covid vaccines ko bhi 6 hours tak use kar rahe hain theek hai all right so bcg measles measles rubella bcg mein what is the diluent for c sodium chloride okay or you will say normal saline theek hai then measles and measles rubella what is it distilled water all right distilled water japanese encephalitis kya hai phosphate buffer and what is yellow fever what is yellow fever everybody cold saline okay cold physiological saline so that is again this thing yes very very good guys okay so remember measles vaccine does not follow open vial policy because it's a reconstituted vaccine theek okay? hai next can you answer this all are true regarding measles vaccine except freeze dried live attenuated single intramuscular dose of 0.5 ml is occasionally associated with tss toxic shock syndrome contraindicated in pregnancy all these are pyq guys what is the answer to this very good we just did it at nine completed months when you are giving measles vaccine also you are giving japanese encephalitis both are given in the form of subcutaneous route tss kya hota hai toxic shock syndrome that's one of the most common adverse event okay all right next immunoglobulin when can you use immunoglobulin so measles may be prevented by administering immunoglobulin early in the incubation period if you want you can give measles vaccine in the incuba uh, in immunoglobulin in the incubation period we never give vaccine and immunoglobulin together you can get a question where they ask you name a disease where vaccine and immunoglobulin cannot be given together so it's measles vaccine okay see 0.25 ml per kg of body weight schedule is 3 to 4 days of exposure then immunize the person by giving a live vaccine 8 to 12 weeks later remember this like rabies rabies may vaccine and immunoglobulin aap ek sath dete ho yes or no in rabies both vaccine and immunoglobulin you give together but not in measles in measles if you give immunoglobulin to someone who might be in the incubation period then you have to give the live vaccine only 8 to 12 weeks later please do not give measles vaccine and immunoglobulin together all right okay should susceptible contacts be given measles vaccine yes susceptible contacts may be protected by giving measles vaccine within 3 days of exposure now very important last part are we targeting for measles elimination are we targeting for measles elimination yes 2022 so there is a measles rubella elimination campaign okay in which we have catch up vaccination strategy now what is this catch up keep up follow up catch up is very important because all children okay 9 months to 14 years of age okay 
are given measles vaccine irrespective of previous vaccination or occurrence of disease okay irrespective of previous vaccination or occurrence of disease all children 9 months to 14 years of age are given measles vaccine irrespective of the previous vaccination status or occurrence of disease okay this is catch up see let's talk about this so you have catch up keep up follow up just read with me this one very very important nationwide vaccination campaign targeting all children 9 months to 14 years irrespective of history of measles disease or vaccination status we are giving the vaccine to everybody even if a child has received at 9 months in the school we will give him again theek okay? hai keep up keep up the routine vaccination to eliminate measles remember 95% coverage of measles vaccine should be there theek okay? hai this can come as an mcq to eliminate measles what should be the coverage of measles vaccine 95% coverage with the measles vaccine this is important guys okay to eliminate vaccine measles we need 95% coverage with measles vaccine and what is follow up guys subsequent nationwide vaccination campaign conducted every 2 to 4 years targeting all children who are born after catch up see we are creating additional rounds which is catch up so all children who are born after catch up is campaign is over they would be targeted so that is follow up and keep up mat matlab keep up the routine vaccination so we need to achieve an immunization coverage of 95% this is a pyq and expected thing all right 9 months to 14 years in catch up vaccination campaign all right so can you answer this measles vaccination campaign between 9 months to 14 years for elimination 9 months to 14 years what is it this is how the mcq will look like keep up follow up mop up or catch up cap catch up keep up is routine okay follow up is after catch up and mop up particularly is done for polio okay where we have endemic areas we conduct additional rounds theek okay? hai All right. What about measles vaccination and disasters? So I'll just tell you, all vaccines are contraindicated post disaster, except which one, guys? Except measles vaccine. Just a quick revision, okay? Except measles vaccine, which has to be given within three days of exposure to the children. We have just done it. Uh, you know. as a as a revision point for measles and disaster but to health care professionals aap kya karte ho to health care professionals what is happening for health care professionals guys all vaccines given all vaccines given except measles unko aapko nahi dena hai theek hai you can give typhoid hepatitis b everything theek hai all vaccines given except measles No, 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 Rana. We are targeting, talking mostly children post disaster. We talk about giving measles vaccine, okay, to the children because in India it's a more common infection of the children. But healthcare professional, those who are working in disaster endemic area, all vaccines can be given except children. Which vaccine, right? Example, typhoid. You can give typhoid. De sakte ho. hepatitis b okay you can give all these vaccines but not measles we'll discuss the detail of this when we talk about disaster so let's see do another mcq chalo tell me the answer to this today we have just done one disease so how will you know that the answer is what it is a one year old child anemonized presents to primary health center with fever since five days mother gives a history of rash starting behind ear pinna a day before coming to opd so a very big retro auricular hai na 
ठीक है Child is having running nose, congested eyes. That's all the prodromal symptoms. So, what is your answer over here? What is your answer over here? Measles. Look, guys, mumps or chicken pox. Chicken pox ka rash bahut characteristic hota hai. We'll be taking up chicken pox very soon. You all know chicken pox rash is superficial, rose in petal, area of inflammation around the rash. Okay, mumps is altogether having a different presentation. ठीक है? Swelling of the parotid glands, rubella. Now you can confuse measles with rubella rash. Okay, one second. Can you tell me which one is measles and which one is rubella? Can you tell me from this image, measles kya hai? Retro auricular means behind the ear, dear. Okay, dhaka. Retro auricular matlab retro matlab piche. Auricular matlab kaan. So behind the ear. Okay. All right. No problem, no problem. So can you tell me which which rash is over here, measles, and which one is rubella? Can anyone tell me? I want everybody to answer. Chalo. This is where I'm going to leave you for the day, okay? And next disease is rubella, so it will keep in your, you'll remain, it will remain in your minds. Okay. All right. Good, good. All of you are writing. Very good. देखो guys, ये measles है, और ये rubella है. Can you appreciate little bit of difference? This is confluent. Macular, papular, confluent together. This is also macular, papular, but discrete. Discrete matlab, it's not that confluent. Okay, it's non, it's not as confluent as. Measles. And remember, rubella may 25% of infection present without rash. Rubella, rash is not necessary. Ki rash hoga hi hoga rubella mein. Nahin. 25% of infection can also be without rash. Measles, always with rash. That's how you diagnose measles. Always with rash. Okay. Next class when we take up, we will talk about rubella. Okay, then we'll look at the picture again. All right. Chalo. Last MCQ for the day. Batao is ka answer. True about measles is all except. Bolo, bolo. Complex spot appears as rash disappears. It is prevented by both active and passive immunization. Otitis media meningitis are common complication. TB is aggravated in post measles. Very good, everybody. Complex spot appears as rash disappears. No. So, we have to say that in the class, complex spot before rash. Complex spot before rash. Okay? Active, passive, yes, you have a vaccine. You have an immunoglobulin, but you will not give both of them together. If you give immunoglobulin, 8 to 12 weeks later only, you will give the vaccine. Otitis media, meningitis, yes, it can happen. TB aggravated in post measles. Now, whenever you will revise, guys, measles. Sun lo ek bar, revise. Measles. Kaise revise karoge in order of priority? You'll have very volatile notes now. The revision needs an order of priority. Okay, so just look at the first two tables, which is the epidemiology. Uh, focus on the image of complex spot and uh, rash. The image of complex spot and the rash. Okay. Tisra, tum kya dekhoge? Vaccine. You will not forget any point of vaccine. I've given you in one slide. Type, root, dose, open vial policy, wo sari cheezein. And last thing that you should revise and go is catch up campaign. Catch up is more important than follow up or any other. Okay? So this is uh, going to be there. Uh, Ashwarya, there's a little this thing about the timing. That is my dear in the, um, on my, on my telegram group, PSM with Dr. Neha or also on my Instagram also on unacademy telegram group i have put out the roster for the diseases there but i am not able to fix the time as such because i have other classes going on but these sessions will keep happening in the roster you will see ashwarya and everybody else we have almost 20 diseases which will be discussed okay 
so whenever like tomorrow of course we are going to have one class for rubella but it's not going to be at 4 tomorrow we will have it a little early i'll be sharing the link on the uh, on my social media platforms okay so just look out for them in the month of october november we'll be covering a lot of diseases as well as national health programs okay everybody theek hai so tomorrow there is going to be a class on rubella look out at the channel and look out uh, in telegram group for the timing theek hai of course it's good ma'am she is definitely cooked um and if you're getting it and if you really want to do psm it's definitely one of the good choices okay meningo caucus all right so i hope this session has helped all of you a small effort to make the diseases easy for you because it's very bulky and it gets very difficult for all of you to read so i thought first we'll be covering most of the important diseases which come in your exams theek hai of course you'll have it ashwarya i'm just uh, sorting out the time and we will be having more and more sessions okay dear don't worry all right bye bye guys have a good day keep studying keep revising share it with your friends and colleagues let them also attend these are absolutely free sessions so they can also uh, gain out of it i hope keep looking at the telegram groups and the instagram accounts and the youtube channel for the links they will be constantly put out tomorrow there will be a class on rubella so i will be putting it out very soon with the link so uh, do log in okay bye bye have a good day guys thank you so much